So while looking for some old footage, I actually came across some really cool outtakes. Fuck. So the great thing about this, you get to see the human reaction time in slow motion. So here you go. Boom. Whoa. <laughs> Noob. Oh, that's, how it, that's how it works. So another thing I'd be trying to do is to work out why sodium and potassium explode when you mix them with water. So this is three and a half grams of sodium reacting with water. And as you can see, it's very good for pissing off the crows. And this is the same thing, but with about half the amount of potassium. Now that's actually really informative, because what it shows you is the explosion isn't due to the reaction of hydrogen with oxygen, because you can see the hydrogen flashing off later. Boom, there, that's the hydrogen flashing off. So that tells you that this explosion is directly because of the reaction of water with potassium, and it's happening at almost detonation type speeds, which is a really interesting observation. So this is me out in the Sierra Nevada, uh, doing a much larger scale reaction with about 8 grams of potassium and two high-speed cameras. And as you can see, it's actually quite a traumatic reaction. Now when I tried a similar reaction with sodium, I did it with a much larger quantity, about 40 grams of sodium. So I was taking no chances here at all, and I'm a, a very long way away there, uh, as you can see with the full face mask. And in it goes, and instantly you can see the hydrogen being generated. And even at that, I'm still backing off. But it's still not really doing anything, so... But I'm absolutely buggered if I'm going to go back and take a look at it. Huh. Is that it? Ah. I count the footsteps. Two, three. repugnant so you'll see that everywhere on the tripod it's been absolutely showered with sodium. There, and then I'm trying washing the stuff off. See it's a wizard at removing paint. And you see that little piece of pink there? You see that little piece of pink on the tripod? It's Mount here at the Keck Observatory isn't it? It's a Good thing that I didn't go up there because the reckoning is it's usually back. It's the same it's tripod! So that's the same tripod so now which has made it all the way over to Mount Kia to do the transit of Venus. Now count the footsteps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. See the camera is zoomed way in so it actually makes things look a lot closer than they really are. But I'm a long way away when I put that sodium in. Which did mean that I had a small amount of sodium to get rid of at the end of this, and there are a few safer ways of getting rid of sodium than throwing it in the Pacific. This is about another five gram lump of sodium. Worked. Now that's what I was really after. These are some hydrogen air, hydrogen oxygen burns. You see this is a channel called Periodic Table Videos and they got up this video on hydrogen burns. It's a really interesting video with a really interesting, albeit unanswered question. And the thing that's always puzzled me is that when they blow up, 
the flame has a reddish color and it's well known that hydrogen when it burns for example in a Bunsen burner or something like that gives an almost colorless flame so why should the balloon give a red flame or reddish flame when it blows up which I reckon I can answer but that would be too easy I want to see you strain the gray matter I want to see how many of you can figure this out you see by my reckoning the answer lies in something that most children will have noticed about balloons but also riddle me this this balloon is full of hydrogen and it can only burn when it's mixed with oxygen that is it can only burn around the outside like this so what's happening here? How do you get this tongue of flame going through the middle of a ball of gas when you expect there to be only hydrogen there and no oxygen? These answers and many more coming up in the next video.